Arlington home buyers and sellers, we've had a lot of activity for the single family home market uh, in March. Keep in mind, this is a cumulative report, so it's actually first quarter results. So please watch to the end of the video so that you can get the, the most amount of information for you. So we've had eight homes on the market currently uh, compared to about 11 around this time last year. Now the average home price for the homes that went on the market is 1 million 195,238 compared to homes on the market around this time is 1,158,523. So for units taken year to date, meaning units that listed year to date, we have 42 homes total listed in the first quarter of 2023 compared to 59 last year. That's somewhat of a big decrease, about 28% or so. And interestingly enough, the list price of those homes is still high. They were at 1,271,105 compared to 1,179,702. So uh, it's roughly about seven and three quarter percent of an, an increase in price. Now for hum homes that went under agreement, we've had 40 homes go under agreement year to date uh, compared to 50 around this time last year. So there's been a drop in, obviously, in units pending. Their price when they went under agreement was $1,199,783, compared to last year as $1,163,654. But interestingly enough, the days on market for homes that went under agreement this year was 30 days, meaning homes were on the market 30 days before they went under agreement compared to nine days last year. So that's a somewhat big increase. Now, what we're seeing for price changes, uh, last year there weren't any price changes at this time. Uh, this year we've had about homes that had about three price changes, and they had an original list price of about $1,678,000. So my guess there is that those homes were just overpriced, unfortunately, to begin with, really. Now, for sales, we've had 30 homes close year to date compared to 40 last year. So we've seen a bit of a slowdown in closings. The average days on market has gone up. So it's about 38 days on market for homes that sold this year compared to 20 last year. And the average sale price for homes that sold this year was $1,182,538. Compared to last year, the average was $1,236,307. So um, interestingly enough, the list to sale price ratio is still above the list price. So on average, homes sold for about 2.5% above their list price compared to almost 11% last year. So we're seeing a big change there. And expired listings, we've had three homes expire this year, meaning they failed to sell for whatever reason. And uh, just compared to just about one last year. Now the homes that expired this year, they their average list was $1 million seven hundred ninety four thousand six hundred sixty seven dollars compared to last year's about one million fifty thousand and the days on market for those homes that expired this year was 72 compared to just about 19 but when we see the average list price for those expired listings and we compare it to the average sale price of other homes i think clearly there's a an issue of the list price being too high so what we've seen last year too, obviously there's a big change in interest rates, um, a big increase. So I think that may have, uh, you know, shocked a lot of buyers. They had pre-approvals that were based on a lower interest rate. So I'm thinking th that we may have seen some buyers maybe postpone their plans or just kind of adjust. So right now, I think the good news is that we have buyers that have pre-approvals with the new interest rates factored in. So I think we should be seeing things looking better for buyers moving forward. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, please go ahead and put them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Please like this video and share it with your family and friends. Take care. Have a great day.